Hey, you guys, we got a distress signal coming straight out of Cincinnati. So we launched the search and rescue cards team down there, and we went to the Cincinnati uh, sports card show, and we met a lot of wonderful people there. Great deals were had, and we met a lot of wonderful people. All right, let's talk about the booths we went to. The first team launched their search and rescue at this first booth, and we found an absolutely gorgeous Jonathan Indy card. I mean, come on. This dude is unfortunately going to win the Rookie of the Year. And the reason I say unfortunately, he beat out my uh, Cardinal player, I believe, Dylan Carson. Let's talk about this guy. I saw him at the end of the year. He had great appearance at the plate. Lead-off man. Had a lot of charisma. Energy was fed off the Reds bench because of him. This guy had his first year in the majors, and we got to see how he handled that grueling 162 games. He had 150 uh, games under his belt. He had plate, he had 21 pop. I mean, come on, this guy has some power at the plate. And then, and not only that, he had some wheels. He stole 12 bases. And then, he had 71 walks, so that's really good about getting on base. He had a 269 batting average, but unfortunately, he had a 141 strikeout. If he could just fix that up a little bit more, this guy's going to be huge. And the reason I... Uh, think that he didn't get much love from outside this area is because the Reds uh, fell out of favor probably in the last two years, uh, sorry, two weeks of the season. And if he was more nationally known and made the playoffs, everybody would be um, hyped as I am about him. And the team not only found one of those in distress, he found number two, another Jonathan Indy card, a Bowman, Bowman, sorry, Bowman Sterling, Sterling card. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this card. And it's just beautiful. The silver just pops out him in his red uniform and really stands out. I mean, it's just, a, look at it, it's clean. It's beautiful. And what did you like about the um, green card, Gunny? Well, it just, I'm a sucker for a pretty card. It's a, it's a really pretty card. The green and the refractor part of it just really draws your eye. And, and it's a great action shot. Um, and on top of all that, you know, he's he's a great rookie. He's fun to watch. Yeah, and I, like I said, we were feeding off that energy. Unfortunately, he beat my uh, Cardinals. <clears throat> but anyways, had a great time at the ballpark. Anyways, we went down the few booths down, and we met this guy. He was full of energy, really nice guy. We talked to him for a while, and he threw me some love and threw me some beautiful cards. Here... At Search and Rescue Cards, we are huge Cardinal fans and huge 49er fans. Okay, let's talk about it. He gave me this one, Debo Samuel. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. Illusions. One of my favorite 49ers and an awesome, awesome uh, wide receiver for us. We're going to put him right here. And then we got some local flavor, Jamar Chase. I think this guy has the potential to be the rookie of the year this year. And he is really clicking with his quarterback, Joe Burrow. I think there's a lot to come for the years to come forward for Cincinnati. All right. And let's talk about this card. This is a Harris card. His kid played like a beast out of Alabama, and he's continuing in Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh loves them some running backs. There's for some reason, they find them some horses. Anyways, I absolutely love this card. It's a white hot. Uh, I just really fell in love with this card. This, the way it looks. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Insert. All right. Then, then we went down to the next booth, not very far, and my search and rescue team almost fell in the water because they were so excited about what they saw. I mean, come on. I've paid full price for this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a sucker for these kind of cards. What am I sucker for? Me some trout. I mean, how can you beat trout? Yes, he was on pace for a hall. I'm sorry, he was on pace for the MVP. The dude was doing great. He got injured, and he would have been competing with Vlad and his um, batmate Otani. But this guy is a future Hall of Famer, first ballot. I love die cards. Oh, Gunny can tell you, I, I am a sucker for a beautiful die cut. And not only that, the red pops with his Anaheim colors. And the back is just as gorgeous and clean. I just love it. And what would you say about it, Gunny? Well, there again, I mean, I think just about all die cuts are beautiful. Um, but this one really brings out um, 
a trout being in the center and with the colors it's almost like they're shooting out beside him and um it's just a beautiful card i mean the way you describe the card it makes me want to buy it again well right next door to it right in the same booth is another trout a sterling i'm sorry sterling a, a stained glass and I saw these online, and I'm like, oh, i got to have me these. We are a sucker here at Card, and that we love us some stained glass. And this one is absolutely beautiful. I cannot beat it. We're going to have to show some love to Mr. Trout, because those cards are just absolutely gorgeous. Booyah, here we are. And next booth we went down to, right next door, is this really guy. He was really fun. He's a fellow Instagrammer. We were talking, we were clicking, and he threw too much love at me. I mean, when I say too much love, he had some insane deals for me. This dude lived up to his name, Mr. Zane. He is Mr. Zane at ZB Collects on Instagram. Follow the guy. He has beautiful cards, and if you have any red cards, he's looking for them. He can't get enough of this. Let's show you the first love he showed me, this Dylan Carson. Red, white, and blue. Oh my God, that is every vet's favorite color. We love us some United States flag colors. Right there, my favorite player with my colors. On the back, nice, clean picture. And not only that, I got some love for this blue uniform. I love them, they're beautiful. And we're gonna take down Mr. Harris, I'm sorry, but the flag has to fly over here. And then the next one. I mean, come on. He had to show me some Cincinnati love. He's a Reds fan. He had to show me uh, Mr. Carson. Step aside for Mr. Indy. Indiana. I'm ah, just saying everything. I'm just too excited here. It's Jonathan Indy. And just absolutely gorgeous. Prism, silver. Uh, I liked it. It makes the card stand out for the colors of his uniform and the bottom line of it. And we're going to just... oh. We're going to have to take down this Indy card. Now, it breaks my heart, but I'm going to have to put this one over here because it's just absolutely got to give Zane some love. Like I said, follow him at Zane at ZB Collects. All right, the next booth we went down to. This guy was a little bit of a hard bargain guy. He wasn't shaking. He wasn't weaving. He wasn't showing much love, but we finally talked him down a little bit. Got us a great price. The search and rescue team came back with some beautiful rescues let's talk about it maybe i'm showing too much love but it's my 49ers yes you guys it's dubo samuel it doesn't look very good on this camera but let's flip it a little bit as you see he's in his college uni i love me some 49ers and dubo i mean come on the gamecock colors is popping here absolutely gorgeous i'm at to put it over here because he's a 49er i'm at have to bring down the flag but no disrespect us vets love us some red white and blue and, oh, we got to slide this bad boy over a teeny bit because we want him in the love shot. And here's the card that made Gunny giggle. It was beautiful. It was amazing. It's called Select. And I'm going to let Gunny take over because she can describe the card better than I can. Well, it's just beautiful. And the fact that it gives the 3D effect to it, I mean, obviously it's a, it's, it's a 2D picture, but just the very fact the way it's cut and the coloring, uh, it, it just pops out at you. I couldn't say any better. I mean, this is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous card. And I'm about to take Mr. Andy down right here. Booyah, because Gunny says you got to put him up in the shot so people get to show a little bit more love to him. And here at the 49er Nation, we got to show some love to our rookies. Coming in, Mr. Trey Sermon, a local hero, Mr. Ohio State himself. Here we go. Hoorah. Pink roof uh, reflect. <laughs> I can't say I'm too excited. It's a pink refractor. I mean, come on. This dude is hot. He's going. I really, I mean, this dude looked really good. Shanahan loves him some horses in the backfield. Let's see how he pans out. We're going to slide him over here. Take Mr. Stained Glass down and put him in here. Oh, my goodness, Gunny. We almost got some 49er. Almost all love. But Trout's holding it down right there. Well, me and Gunny, we don't see eye to eye on every card, but she's a beautiful wife, and she let me purchase this card, and it's amazing. It's our best um, card we got, our big card there, and it was Mr. Dylan Carson. 
It is very short print at 25 orange refractor. I got it barely under book value. Eh, I'm just excited for it, you know. But here we go. Booyah. I know Gunny does want me to put it up there, but I got to do it. I got to do it, you guys, because I love me some Cardinals. And not only that, beautiful, short print. Booyah. Biggest card at the show. And here we go. We just stepped around the corner, and this guy was blowing up of 49ers everywhere. Oh, my goodness. He had a lot of 49ers. Let's just jump right out. Booyah. Hit you with some Nick Boza. He's my favorite defensive player. Don't no disrespect to Mr. Warner. I love him too, but Nick's my boy. And he had a patch card. What made you want to grab this one, Gunny? Just the simplicity and just also mainly the fact that I know Nick Bosa is your favorite player. Oh, so yes. So b- between it just being Nick Bosa and the patch, obviously it was a winner. All right. And, and look at this card. She just turned around and slammed me another one in the face with this one. Last year's rookies, first round picks. We got Mr. Kinlaw. He's producing this year. When this man's in, you can't run in the middle. And then Ayuk, the young horse. He's looking good this year. Why did you pick this card and why did you love this card? It was pretty simple. I mean, it's a clean look. Uh, it also had two very good players on it. Uh, I just enjoyed how clean it looked. All right, the next one up, uh, that lot, we're still flowing with some love here for the 49ers. IU, this absolutely just beautiful uh, 49er uh, red up in the corners, and then the silver, and then look at him, gentlemen. He looks like he's going to score with a little bit of swag. This is what we're looking at in 49er uh, Nation for the future. More swag, more touchdowns from this young man. Oh, my God, Gunny's going to make me take down my big card, but I guess we're just going to show us some 49er love. Booyah! We just coming at you with all this 49er love. I know. How can we show it anymore? Booyah! We bring in some Brandon IU card. I don't know why I love this card. It's just clean. It's the picture. It pops at you. I like the blue, the red at the bottom, the silver enhances it. Goes around with the color scheme. It just, I mean, how can you not pick this up? This is a beautiful IU card from Optic. Then... We brought in this young guy. We believe in our young guys. We believe in Shanny handpicking good guys. This guy is a little bit low on the depth chart, but we had to show Mr. Jennings some love, and we think he has the potential for it. So we had to pick some cards up and show him some love. And then there was this young man sitting by himself, and he was just as nice as could be. He knocked down half price for me, and it is the Manning. I believe he's my second favorite player as a quarterback only to Montana and I see me some Manny I gotta show him some love this pink refractor like I said this guy showed me some love cut it off by half could not beat it happy by this card and then we went right around the corner and this dude was from Pittsburgh area showing us how the Pittsburgh people have way too much love I fixed to show you this card lot it's huge he only can charge me thirty dollars for it I couldn't, I was blown away. And let's just show you, man. We're going to come out strong. Some Soto. I mean, come on. This card is absolutely gorgeous. It shows the capital in the back. Love the color scheme. And the guy just owns the Washington Red, I'm sorry, Washington Nationals right away. What made you like this card? Um, I, I just like how there's kind of like a spotlight on it in a sense with the circular area uh, it's got some of our national buildings in the background and the way his name is so big and that color it, it just pops at you well you're asking yourself bosun how can we top this one off let's just bring you a little trout love right here unleashed card i absolutely love these unleashed cards and i'm gonna let gunny describe it because she does it better than i do let's hear well it's almost like the 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 animal is being unleashed um Actually, you know, with Trout and, uh, and and the Unleashed, the whole Unleashed theme, the all of the cards, I think, are awesome looking, and, and I just enjoy all of them. So I think, I think this is our first Unleashed. 
Yes. Um, and, and, it, and it's just beautiful, and I'm looking forward to adding more Unleashed to our collection. Oh, I can't say it better, Gunny. Well, here's our favorite young player, Mr. Tatis Jr. Needs no introductions, no numbers. He, his bat talks for himself. Why I love this card so much. Look at it. It looks like a rainbow just jumped on this card and made it pop, enhanced it. Look at that gun of an arm. On the back, we continue this beautiful rainbow collar scheme. And, I mean, come on. We can't take this card down. we got to show Mr. Ayu a little bit of nap time and put Mr. Tatis up here. And let's just keep on going. Let's bring in the godfather uh, pitching. My favorite pitcher, Mr. Nolan Ryan. You're saying why? He's the old vet. The guy that can uh, strike out anybody and throws a 100-mile-an-hour fastball and glare at you and did it time and time again. Absolutely gorgeous card. It's a platinum die cut. And what did you like about it, Gunny? Just, um, you know, it's such a, a wonderful player, a gentleman, uh, a legend, and, and also, you know, the die cut always makes any card look that extra special. <laughs> You're right. And the reason we stopped by this booth, not only did this guy have some energy, he had excitement. He was showing a lot of love for the Pittsburgh area and representing y'all really well. But I saw this card. Yes, you're saying, oh, my God, Boson, why are you stopping grabbing you more Cardinals? Can't have enough Cardinals here here at Search and Rescue Cards. We love us Cardinals, and we love us some 49ers. This is a green, looks like a spectacle refractor. It's Jordan Hicks. Unfortunately, this gentleman has been hurt two years in a row. He had Tommy John surgery, just came back from, and then he got injured again this year. But I think he hopefully will be our closer. This guy is awesome on the mound, and he just has the stuff. Let's see what the future lays a hold for him. And then the Mad Dog comes in. My second favorite pitcher, only to Nolan Ryan. How can you beat this? I mean, it's a short print, silver refractor, the Mad Dog himself, Greg Maddox. And then... We had to show some local love again to Indy. This card is just absolutely beautiful. His, Brom, his Bowman Chrome Cincinnati card. Absolutely loved it. And then we had to go back to our cards and get us some Arenado in his new uniform. And this dude hit 100 ribbies for us. First time in our, in our uh, league since uh, 2012 for my Cardinals, okay? And he just announced that he's going to come back next year. So we're really excited what our team can do with this young chemistry with this young man at the helm. And then, ha, the wife wasn't looking and I snuck in more Dylan Carson. She said I was buying way too much Dylan Carson. I think that's blasphemy. But old Boson had to sneak that one in and go, booyah. Oh, but let's talk about the old dog, Mr. Pujols. This dude was a cardinal through and through, put up amazing numbers. I believe this guy's a future Hall of Fame first ballot. I mean, it's non-discussion and just absolutely beautiful card. I had to show some love to my pool holes. And then the wifey caught my Carlson and she said, I have to go get my favorite player since you're getting so much Carlson. And this is her favorite player, George Kittle and Mike Piazza. Piazza is her favorite. The PC is blowing up for it. I don't want to tell you. It's a ridiculous amount of Piazza she's got. But as Gunny said, there's never enough Piazza. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that silver string down there. And do you want to tell us about this Piazza card? Well, she's she is totally stunned by the color of it, the beauty of it. And I said, since you got you some Piazza love, I went and got me some more Dylan. Ha, ha, ha. Teach her to get a Piazza. I'm throwing me in more Dylan. I love the way the pennant rolls off, but the classic look. And not only that, you can tell where it is. It's iconic Wrigley Field with the ivy. All right. <laughs> well, you know, she wasn't looking again. I snuck me some more Dylan Carlson in there. I like the clean look of this card. It's a Bowman. There's not much to it. It's just a clean repetition of this gentleman. A beautiful swing. It looks like he hit a home run. And then we went to Tampa this year, and we fell in love with us some Tampa Bay Rays. We liked the energy the team had. The stadium was beautiful. Uh, and we just we now we're big Rays fans. This guy got hurt this year. They have a beautiful pitching staff, and I think this guy could be the ace of it and anchor it. 
And yeah, they got beat out this year, but they had all the rookies up there, and that just is more experience, and I expect you guys to see more of this Tampa Bay. And then, <laughs> wifey caught all my Carlsons. So old Gunny said, well, you know what? We can play at this game too. Here's another Piazza. You got to throw that one in. And I said, well, look at that. That Dodger symbol at the bottom right corner is absolutely gorgeous. And then, I mean, I, what I liked about the old cards is that they had not only beautiful fronts. I mean, I mean that's amazing. But let's just, I mean, do you compare it to the back? What's the better, the front or the back? I mean, look at this. He's catching it. The guy's sliding in. Piazza does what he does best. Get him out. What do you guys say about this one, Gunny? Just, I've always enjoyed, you know, the action shots. And to me, you know, anything Piazza, um, it is a good card. All right. Well, let's keep that theme going. If one great uh, catcher, let's jump on another. I love me some Yachty. Yachty is my favorite Cardinal right now. Can't get enough of him. He's my second favorite pit, uh, catcher, only to Pug. I love Pug. I love me Yachty. And here we go. And then, oh, we found this absolutely gorgeous Nolan cards just sitting over there. Yes, it's in the Rockies, but hey, we're going to collect us some Rockies since he's, some, uh, he's a Redbird now. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous picture of him. His all-star game picture. The back tells a little bit of information about the game. And then, last but not least, we ended up this big lot uh, with his Tatis. Um, beautiful card. Tops one. Action shot. Absolutely love it. Look on the back. It's got all his numbers. Stats. I think that's great. And that ends our uh, show. Our search and rescue team went out there. We found all these beautiful cards. Great deals. And like I said, thanks for watching this video. And we appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And tell us what player you liked the most out of it. What cards caught your eyes? And come along on our next adventure to see where the uh, search and rescue cards will go next. I'm signing out. See you guys later. What do you think, Gunny? Have a good one, folks. All right. Bye, you guys.